Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. I am doing a video because everything is happening today. Today, Tuesday the 15th of September, it's a crazy world. A lot of people were complaining, yeah, but Juventus is not doing a lot, they are not selling, why are they not selling, they are not buying, why are they not buying? Today we are approaching the final date, the 5th of October, because we are the 15th, so it means that we have still 20 days of Mercato, Juventus is finally doing a lot of things, and not one by one, looks like today they are doing everything in one day. I started this morning speaking about Kedira, I, sp I started speaking about De Chilio. we will go in detail, because we had so much news. So Kedira, with all the respect to the men, because... Guys, one thing we have to understand is non-player, no one, no player would love to be injured. They don't want to be injured, but this is the case. But that being said, with all the respect, it's time to leave. So Paratici will have a really hard work and it's a focus of Juventus management to stop as Romeo Agresti is saying, to stop the contract of Kedira. The guy has a clause in his contract that if we stop earlier than normal, we will have to pay him the full remaining salary. So that means 6 million euro. So Juventus and Paratici, they will try to lower that. So going from 6, maybe to 5, maybe to 4 million to pay, at least what we can save, we save. Because unfortunately, we cannot count on the player anymore. Kedira! Park a lot, and then we have another news that came this morning, is the agent of Dybala landed in Torino this morning. Not only the agent of Dybala, but as well his mother. She arrived also, I don't know if they were together or they came separately, but the two are in Torino. We don't know what will be said with the Juventus management, but they will have a meeting. Probably the extension of the contract of Dybala until 2025. I will say finally, because that discussion is already ongoing since months now, so I hope they can talk seriously, eye in the eye, face to face and find an agreement. So let's see what they will say about that. The thing that Romeo Agresti was also adding out that is that today nobody really gave an offer, a serious offer for Dybala. So probably they will talk about contract extension. Let's see. And then the affair that is going on since weeks and weeks and weeks. I'm going crazy and I'm sure you are going crazy as well about that. Zeko, Suarez, Suarez, Zeko, Zeko, Suarez, Suarez, Zeko, Milik, Zeko, Suarez, Zeko, Suarez, Milik. I should do a remix about that because it's crazy. I'm going crazy with it. We, who will be our new number nine? One day Suarez is on top, the other day it's Zeko. Then before earlier it was Milik, Milik is linked to Roma, we don't know nothing anymore. One source is saying A, the other one is saying B, then they say Zeko will arrive. We don't know. I made, before the voices of uh, Suarez, I made a video where I was actually praising Zeko for a one or two years at Juve being a really great partner for Ronaldo. So if Zeko arrives, I will be happy. But then when I heard Suarez, I was praising Suarez. Why? Because killer Champions League experience. Uh, the guy has fame. He has a name. He can bring something and find new motivation. So I would prefer, and I continue to say today, I would prefer Suarez over Zeko. But even if Zeko comes, I will not be the saddest man on earth. Are those two players my favorite ones? The one that I would buy if I had a lot of money? No, I would go for other profiles, but at the moment it's not possible. So we will have to wait for that famous number nine in the coming years. But today between the two, both of them I would be happy with a small preference for Suarez. Now, what are the papers saying? Suarez is in conflict with Barcelona. Some reports are saying that he might leave there or go to Ajax. Uh, he's waiting for his passport uh, to do on a Thursday, but he wants the exit fee of Barcelona. Barcelona doesn't want to pay him. It's a crazy affair. But even with all those rumors, Juventus was still wanting to have Suarez. They wanted him nothing to do. Suarez was main priority until after the game Juventus Novara where Pirlo clearly said 
I want a striker as soon as possible. It's important for him because he's training the team and he needs that reference in the front. Also because Dybala is still injured. So he wants pressure and we don't know even if Suarez will do his Italian citizenship test. It's not to have the passport, eh? it's to be able to ask the passport. But even if he does it on Thursday, we don't know how long it will take. It can take even up to 48 months that's a lot of months so we don't know maybe it can be a few days maybe a lot of months we don't know but Pirlo he wants a striker immediately and since that voice Zeko came again as a top priority for Juve Milik should go to Roma at least this morning I was saying that Napoli and Roma they found an agreement they were about to find an agreement with Milik, but at the moment, as we speak, Milik has still not decided or still not say yes to Roma. We don't know. What a crazy affair. I don't know. I don't know. I hope that we can finish that story really soon. If we go all in for Zeko, I'm sure about it. We will have a new number nine before uh, Friday or at least Friday. If not it will continue a bit more. And then what will happen with all of this is that once all of that, uh, probably end of this week, let's say on Sunday after the game versus Sampdoria, next week we will follow with new things. Juventus will not stop and they will not lay down. Juventus will focus on selling even more players. I don't know the names today, but we will try to sell more. Uh, don't forget, we didn't spoke about it, but De Chilio was also proposed in the deal with Zeko. So Zeko to Juventus, De Chilio probably with a plus 5 million to a Roma. Guys, it's a profit thing, so it's not that plus that is that. No, it's a profit thing, so I have to say uh, what the books are saying, but uh, giving De Chilio to Roma will bring us a lot of uh, plus Valencia, a lot of profit, so it's actually quite good. But even there, I don't know, if Milik doesn't go to Roma, maybe De Chilio will not go to Roma. What an affair again. But as I said, Juventus is really clearly putting the second or the third speed to accelerate the movement, so I'm happy and I'm sure we will hear name after name after name and probably also official actions in the next coming days. So we will try to sell even more after that and then go for the backup striker that can be Moise Keane we talk about it for sure first the real number nine and then the backup one and then who knows if we are good if we are able to sell and good probably we will even invest in one more midfielder and guys I don't want to give you hope but if you yourself you're looking on social media there is one name that is coming again and linked to Juve and is Hussein Awar. I'm not saying this, I'm not promising it, so be chill and be relaxed, but it's everywhere. Everywhere they are speaking again about Awar linked, linked to Juve, not to Juve, that's a difference, okay? So this was it for me, crazy day, crazy Tuesday 15th of September. One thing that I want to add on all of that is if Juventus looked really passive in all the previous day today we cannot say that they are passive they are doing everything that they have to do this was it for me so if you are new to the channel please subscribe put a like to the video and as always forza juve